Hey there, it's Carrie here at Get Your Vibe Right, and today I'm going to answer the question, Carrie, how did you become an emotional energy healer? <laughs> this is this kind of work is something that people are super curious about. Most of them don't understand it, and they have no idea how you would go about doing this kind of work. So this, as with I suppose many people's callings in life, came out of my own personal life experience, right? And it came out of heartbreak, <laughs> a failed relationship. I wish that I could say this came out of some noble cause, like I just looked at the world around me and I saw all of the suffering and just knew I had to do something. <laughs> but that really wasn't the case. I was in my own suffering and I knew I had to do something about it. I had been in a five-year relationship that I, I thought was gonna be like the one, you know, last forever and it didn't. Uh, and when that relationship came to an end, I really had a, a bit of an identity crisis, if I'm being honest, is that I had given so much to that relationship and I had given up so much of myself to that relationship that when I came out of it, I, I really struggled, not just with the heartbreak and the grief and the unworthiness and the uh, all the sadness that goes along with that kind of trauma, but also I, who am I? You know, who, where where am I heading in life? I I didn't know anymore, and um, I really was in a very very bad place. Uh, you know, getting up every day was really hard. Uh, being around people was hard. I just felt really really raw. I think at one point I described it as if somebody had taken my skin and turned it inside out and it felt like all of the nerves were on the outside and everything just hurt. I was really, really raw and I knew that I had to find a way to fix this. And the reason I had to find a way to fix this myself is because that I was actually working on a commercial fishing boat up in Alaska for a summer job. and. That meant that I was out on the ocean for weeks at a time. I did not have access to the internet. Um, I didn't have access even very often to call my friends and family to get any emotional support from them. So I was really adrift, <laughs> literally adrift um, and without a lifeline. And I knew I needed to find one. So somewhere along the way, somebody had um, recommended a book to me called The Emotion Code, which is written by Dr. Bradley Nelson. And um, this is a very simple energy healing modality that anybody can do for themselves. And that's exactly how it was written. Um, gave very simple, clear instructions on how to identify certain emotions that were trapped in the body from traumatic experiences and release them. So I started there and I spent three months of my fishing season up there every day, like going and, and cleaning things out. And when I got on the other side of that season, I really knew how to do this, this kind of work. Um, I didn't start doing it as a profession until a long time later, but I would help my friends, anybody who kind of, you know, so I started to get into it a little bit, got really curious about it. And then I found out that there was something even bigger called the body code, which is what I practice now. And um, this goes way deeper than just beyond 60 emotions. And it gets into subconscious programs that we have that run, that control us, self-sabotaging behaviors and where they come from. Um, all kinds of subconscious things that are going on below the surface that we don't even know are happening that tend to undermine our, our success in life, success in relationships, success in business, success in anything we really set our minds to do. And um, because it's all below the surface, it's not so easy for us to identify. And this is where I really help my clients is by having this ability that I honed over time to tap into their energy systems and read what's going on, so to speak, read the energy of what's going on around a certain topic and have a mechanism to release it so that they open up to more possibility, so that they let go of a lot of those trigger emotions that keep us stuck or keep us repeating the same patterns over and over in life. So, uh, I mean, luckily I got my heart broken, right? And here I am helping hundreds of people every year to 
to live happier, to feel lighter, to be healthier. And I'm, I really feel so blessed that that relationship didn't work out. And I'm sure that you can look back on your life and see the same thing, that there is always a blessing in every kind of traumatic experience that we have, but we do have to heal ourselves to a certain extent for that blessing to show itself. So that's how I got into this. And um, that's my expression of gratitude for this work and what I can do to help people. And also my expression of gratitude to my ex-partner and everything that he opened up for me by saying, this isn't working out. So anyway, that's my story. And maybe you can relate if you can. You can go ahead and uh, maybe share that in the comments below. Or if you have a question about anything that I said, please ask. I'm more than happy to respond to you personally or make another video about it. So get curious, ask me something. I'm here to help.